The clock is ticking for the Adams 14 school district. We've, we've lost way too much instruction um, over the years to put this off for another year. The state denies requests to give the district more time to fix years long problems. They say it's time to prioritize students. I feel we have really failed those students for nine years. The snow is coming to an end and warmer days are ahead. A hands-on approach to finding solutions to homelessness. It's really listening to people of the issues, gathering what, what's happening in community. A new project is meeting those in need right where they are. It do start out by going to meet your neighbor, finding out who they are, finding out who you are as a person. Good evening and thank you for watching Denver 7 News at 6. I'm Ann Trujillo. I'm Shannon Ogden. Glad you're with us tonight. The Adams 14 School District has struggled for years. They've lost accreditation in the past. They have a graduation rate well below the state average. They've had the state take over the district. And today the State Board of Education made it clear they want to stop the bleeding and they want to do it soon. Denver 7's Rob Harris sat in a virtual meeting today where the state denied a request to delay a decision over that district's future. Okay, Madam Chair, we are live. The vote from the Colorado State Board Thank of you. Education Thursday Thank was unanimous. Yes. Board Member McClellan? Yes. Every member present for the member virtual Reagan. meeting voted yes. to deny an extension Board for Adams Reagan. 14 School District. Yes. Meaning the district has until April 14th to present a plan for improvement that the board signs off on. At that point, the board could vote to do anything from closing Adams City High School to reorganizing the district. The only thing the board cannot do is nothing. It's required by law to intervene when schools underperform for extended periods of time. We still have no plan of how we're moving these kids forward. And in, in my heart of hearts, I feel like we have let these students down and teachers, quite frankly. The district had asked for the meeting to be bumped to June, since the current meeting is scheduled for the week state testing is scheduled to take place. But board members said state test schedules have been known for two years. The problems at the district have been known for years longer, and there's been plenty of time to come up with a plan. Putting it off till June just means you won't be able to implement it in August. I'm not quite sure why the leniency is needed. The report from the state review panel said declining enrollment and a culture of fear and retaliation within the district had limited improvement in student achievement and growth over many years, and that drastic change is needed. Denver 7 talked to a representative and lawyer of Adams 14 School District this week. They said the report's one-sided, and that their former external management partners at MGT Consulting should be blamed, since it led the district until February. The district was forced to work with an out-of-state for-profit company that in the years that followed failed to meet its expectations. Still, the district has struggled academically for years, which led to the installation of the outside firm by the state board in the first place. And now that the outside firm is out, the board now has to decide whether to give Adams 14 another shot at its own improvement plan. I feel we have really failed those students for nine years. If the Colorado Board of Education denies the district's plan for improvement at that point, it could vote to close Adams City High School. Students there would then attend other high schools in the area that have higher academic performance. For Denver 7, I'm Rob Harris. And let's give you some context on just how much the Adams 14 school district is struggling. The state says eight out of 10 students in that district are not reading at grade level. The graduation rate is 15% below the state average and students are